I want my respect, man. I'm coming for this money. South suburbs of Chicago. My high school team was really good. We had Julian Wright came out of my high school. He was the number 13 draft pick in the league. Uh, Kevin Dillard came out. But within those guys, I made that varsity team. And I think I was the first white player we had in like nine years on my high school team. Also played Division Three basketball at uh, Cornell College in Iowa. I wasn't recruited D1. Had no D2 offers. Had to essentially pay my own way to play D3 ball. Had a nice career, and I still feel slighted. I want to show what I got. You know, this is my city. I want to win. Now here I am in the inner city scene, and I've been showing out for a while. For me, being like the tall, kind of like raise up, shoot over the top player. When I'm playing a smaller guy, when I get to that point, I just got to use my size. And today I'm going to play more physical with these bigger body guys. I'm going to force them into tough jump shots and uh, I'm not going to let them get uncontested layups. So I'm going to use my fouls today. Like uh, I'm, I'm a nice dude, but I like money. So I'm going to find a way to bully people around and get them out of their game, get them yelling at the referees. That's what we do in Chicago. We, we argue a lot. I have a great support system. I actually have my dad, John and Danette that have followed me and funded my whole basketball journey, so it's only right that they're here with me today. He's got that phenomenal shot, the great technique, the great fundamentals, which he proved at the end there when he won the game today because he's just got to shoot that three over everybody. He's going on to the bigger stage, and we're super excited about it. He's competitive in a game. He's tough, and uh, when the game's over, he's, he's a good sportsman. People are going to underestimate me and they're going to play harder against me because they don't want to lose to the white guy. And that's fine. But you know, a lot of people lost yesterday. I've never been in a one-on-one -on -one tournament, but I felt like at first people didn't take me seriously. And I liked that. I felt like I was ready to go because I had trained for it. So it was a great experience. And an event like this is just huge for me and what I'm doing and to show I can hang with anyone. I've played in every neighborhood possible and everyone's shown me the same level of respect. So like, this is truly a family here. I know all these guys in the tournament. I got a lot of respect for that dude. Great boogie ball is life. It's an honor to play guys like that in this scene. And he's so damn tough on defense, but I've been working my ass off for this, so I'm coming and I'm playing tomorrow. I can go back to remembering T-Mac coming back single-handedly against San Antonio and hitting the three for game. And it's like to see him in the flesh, like rooting me on in a game is just insane. Like I never thought I'd be in a situation like that. And I'm, I'm going right into the ring. I'm diving in. Now I get essentially two months to prepare, shore up my body, uh, get my conditioning right, and then get to my, my turnaround. I'm, I, I like my chances where I could be walking away with a duffel bag of money instead of just a, a nice stack. <laughs> 